Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to share with you a how to writing. And a how to writing gives you specific steps in order of how to do something. And if you put enough detail in it, someone will be able to read your writing and do exactly what you were trying to explain in your writing. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to share with you how to make a mask. Now, um, why am I going to make a mask? Well, because that's kind of what I do when I go into a store to try to be safe um, from any possible germs. And I can't order any online, so I'm going to try to do what I have um, at home and see if I can make one. So first, let me share my writing. I didn't make any mistakes this time, but I did underline some adjectives. And adjectives um, is upside down. Adjectives describe the noun. Okay, the noun is a person, place, or thing. So I underlined my adjectives and I pointed to the noun. So you can be on the lookout for that. Also, um, making a mask and doing my writing, I am still reusing, because we talked about recycle, reduce, reuse. So I found some um, paper that came in a box from one of my deliveries, and I used this paper to do my writing. <clears throat> so here we go. It says, this is how I make a mask. So that's my topic sentence. You're gonna know now what you're reading about. First, I get an old shirt and scissors. Next, I cut the arm sleeve off. Then I add two cuts on each side at the top by the seam. Last, I put it over my big head and open the cut, oops, and open the cut part to put around my ears. That's how to make a cool mask. So I have my topic sentence at the top, tells you what I'm writing about. This is how I make a mask. I have a conclusion sentence. That's what you'll be working on more in second grade. Um, conclusion just kind of wraps up what you've talked about. It says that's how to make a cool mask, okay? And then in your writing, um, and it's a how-to, you do want to put transitional words, which is like first, then, also, next, second, finally. Those are some key words to that. So I do have first, I have next, um, I do have last, and then, okay? And then also here are my adjectives. Old describes the shirt. So when you make a mask, don't or don't, when you make a mask, don't get a new shirt. Ask permission, please, first before you cut something up. An old shirt. I'm talking about the cuts that I'm making and how many am I making? I'm making two. I'm describing my head. My head is big, so my big head. And then I'm describing my mask. My mask is a noun, and here's my adjective: a cool mask. Okay. So that is my writing. It's a lot of information that I've just went over. Um, but let me show you really quick my cool mask, okay? So here I did take an old t-shirt. It has some paint stains on it. And um, I already started it just so um, we can save some time here. But here is my shirt. And then here is the sleeve that I'm talking about. And I'm just going to cut it along the seam. I'm already halfway done. I'm going to have it here so you can see the rest of what I'm doing. I'm going to cut with sharp scissors. Please, again, if you're going to do this, ask your family first, your parents. Okay, so there it is. And then um, what I did is, here is like a seam. A seam is where they sew two pieces together. I'm just going to kind of put that in the center in the middle because it was on the side like that. So I'm just going to center it in the middle. Okay, and then I said cut two um, cuts at the top. This is going to be my top where it's like the end part of your sleeve. This where it has the seam sewn here. So on this side, I'm going to cut about two, <clears throat> one to two inches at the top going sideways. So let me put this down here so you can see right here little bit below the stitching and maybe do uh, about an inch or so. See how I cut it? Just like that. I'll lay it back down. I'm going to do the other side. I'll cut another inch or two and that is where my, it's going to go over my ears. Okay? 
So then this is the fun part, is putting it over my big head. Okay, this part is gonna stay on the top. This cut part is gonna be on the bottom and stick it over my head, okay? And then here, the seam part is still at the top. That's the stitching part. And then here, I'm gonna open up the cut part and put it over my ear. I'm gonna do this part and put it over my ear, okay? And then I'm gonna put it up top here like this, okay? And then I still have this hanging down, but I can, I didn't put it in my writing, but I always could add more detail. And I'm just gonna kind of flip it up a little bit for like I doubled it for a little bit more protection, okay? And then um, some people want to add some more protection so the germs won't get in. And you can do a paper towel, you can do a coffee filter. And so you can kind of just put that in there too. And there you go. There is my mask. So it's not perfect. Um, and I can't say it's 100% safe. It's just something um, that will help me if I, because I don't have any masks at home. And I don't have a sewing machine, so I thought this would be um, the best thing. It's still a little open up in here. I can pull it down a little bit and put it over my chin. So there is my mask. And... If you make one, I'd love to see pictures. I know I got a few pictures um, that parents have sent me of um, their children. Um, one, someone sent me of them doing their work. Another one sent me one of um, three-dimensional shapes that they found. I do miss you, and I'd love to see those pictures. And if you make some masks, do a writing if you want. It's not mandatory that you do a writing. These are just ideas um, to give you if you want to write or make some crafts or reuse something because I reused a shirt and I did my writing and I reused it on a piece of paper. So, all right, have a good one, bye.